and welcome to episode two of Youth Chat. We are going to eventually have some really cool posts on there. We only have two right now, but eventually there will be more. And definitely go check it out and follow us and like our posts. And definitely it's another big source for commenting and sharing ideas. So use it for that as well. But go follow it at youth underscore chat. Our latest post was how to use social media for good and for positivity. So that's kind of what today's video is about, is we used our social media, which is at youth underscore chat, go follow it. Um, we used it and I asked four questions, I think, four questions to my Instagram followers where they could answer those questions or respond back with a different question. And today I'll be answering some of those and just responding to some of them. And hopefully this is just going for all around using social media for positivity. And let's hop right in to the video. So the first question I asked on my Instagram story was, um, do you have any questions about youth chat as a whole or as a brand? And I picked out three responses to answer. So the first question that someone asked about youth chat is, will you be hosting the interviews? So for the most part, yes, probably it will be me hosting the interviews because as you know, and I have said like, probably a bunch of times before, Youth Chat will eventually be me interviewing other teens our age. But yes, for the most part it will be me, but if there comes a time where other teens want to interview other teens and we turn this channel into something a little bit bigger, that's totally a great idea and I'm totally up for it, but for the beginning and for the most part, yes, it will probably be me interviewing and hosting uh, those types of things. The second question I got is, why did you start Youth Chat in the first place? So the reason I started it is actually because from a very young age I thought it was important that teens just kind of like speak their minds and get their opinions out there in a world where they're kind of not always listened to. Um, but also because I didn't want this to just be my channel, I wanted it to be everyone's channel, everyone in my generation's channel where we could just talk about whatever it is we want to talk about without being silenced or anything like that. And the funny thing is I've had this idea for like three years, <laughs> so um, now that I have all this time, I'm kind of just finally getting it to be a reality. The last question I got for this first question that I asked was how will youth chat work during quarantine? So of course we can't, I can't interview someone while they're sitting right here next to me, but I hope um, that as time goes on, maybe by episode three, we'll be able to do a Zoom or FaceTime interview. Um, and hopefully we can somehow figure out how to make that work, but great question. Um, maybe even at some point a socially distance interview, we'll just see how it plays out. The next question I asked on Youth Chat's Instagram story was, do you have any questions about me personally, Sophia? And the first question I got was, do you play any sports? So I play volleyball and I do dance and those are the sports I like to play, but definitely comment down below what sports you like to play and maybe how you've been doing them during quarantine. The second and last question that I got for the questions about me personally was, do you really like to read? So I probably got this question because in episode one, I gave three book suggestions. Definitely go check those out um, in our last uh, video. Um, but yes, I do really like to read. I read all those books that I suggested and I really need some new book suggestions. So definitely comment down below book suggestions and we'll kind of hop into that in just a couple minutes. The next question that I asked was, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy during quarantine? And so many people answered this one that I had to narrow it down to a shorter list that I compiled onto my phone in notes, and I'll be sharing that with y'all now. So here's the short list. Working out, reading, swimming, crafting, learning Spanish, and skateboarding. So those are all really cool things that you can try during quarantine now that we have all, have all this time. And definitely comment down below what you've been doing during quarantine. Uh, so on that one, someone also asked, um, 
I've been doing, someone said, I've been doing my summer project, what's yours? So in case you don't know, at my school, we are doing the capstone project over the summer. And basically what that is, is you choose a problem in your society and you do this project about it. So my topic is false imprisonment or false convictions. And I find that super important, but that discussion is kind of for a whole nother video. Um, but definitely comment down below if you are doing a project similar and what your topic is, but that's what mine is, and uh, good for you for working on yours. I should probably do some more of mine. The last and final question I asked on my Instagram story was, do you have any movie, book, or song suggestions? So instead of sharing those with you now, I'm giving everyone the opportunity that wasn't following me on Instagram at that point, didn't see the post, or is just now hearing about this, to go down to the comments or go to my Instagram and on our latest post, either comment a movie, book, or song suggestion, or comment down below in this video right now a movie, book, or song suggestion. I'm sure everyone would love to hear them because we all have pretty much no idea what to do right now. And that would be super awesome and super cool. So those were all the questions I asked you guys on my Instagram story. So that concludes the question portion of this video. But I do want to talk a little bit about this channel for just half a minute, so hang on till the end. So this channel is less mine and more y'all's. So I just want to tell y'all really quickly that whatever y'all want to hear me talk about in episode three, whether that's a social issue like the one I'm doing for my summer project, or something completely different, or something fun, or playing a game, whatever y'all want to see me do in episode three, it's really up to y'all because this is more y'all's channel than it is mine. And that would mean so much to just be able to talk about what our next generation wants to talk about. So somehow either comment here or on our Instagram or something like that just to get it to me so I can know what y'all want to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely please, please, please like it and subscribe and all those opportunities I gave you to comment just a couple seconds ago, do it please because definitely commenting shares your opinions and opinions should be heard and shared around with everybody. So definitely comment if you can, like this video if you can, and subscribe if you can to join this community. And I hope to see you again for episode three. Like I said, I want to know what y'all want to hear for that episode. And thank you for asking so many great questions. Bye guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time. Mm, that's weird. Mm. So